sent me one of their products. I just came home to this shipment from Iceco. It's a Iceco JP42 fridge freezer combo uh, for the sprinter. So let's unbox it and see what we got. We got the Iceco JP42. This is a three-in-one fridge, freezer, and cooler. So let's open it up, do an unboxing, and see what we got in here. This came pretty quick. It took about three days to get to me. And, uh, Actually pretty light. I think it's only 40 pounds. Well, it's actually pretty light. So it comes with. It's like a power cord, instruction manual, some silica gel. Right off the bat, you can see it has some nice cup holders here with a little storage compartment. Um, you got the handles to grab it from, and uh, it's uh, it has some slots in here where you can where you can tie it down, tie it down, or use it as a as a strap to carry over your shoulder. Uh, it's pretty light at only forty six forty seven pounds. Um, it has this roto molded construction design uh, with these rubber rubber hooks for latches. <laughs> And with this design, it has very thick insulated walls. Um, you know, this, this will keep, keep the ice uh, or whatever you have in here cooler for, for uh, a much longer time if you, if you decided to use it as a cooler, which this is a 12 volt, um, 12 volt uh, fridge freezer or a 120 volt where you can plug it into your house socket or shore power. Um, here's your here's your display, and when, when I'm using it in van life, uh, so basically I would I would put this in the cigarette lighter, and while I'm driving, this is what would be powering it, and when I'm pulled over, I would use my inverter uh, to uh, the energy Kodiak to to uh, power it up. I can put it in into the 120 volt sockets, or I can use a, the cigarette lighter uh, as well. So, just taking a overall look at it, like I said, it has a very thick construction, um, roto molded plastic design. Uh, it's designed to be very rugged, bumped around, and uh, looks like it's uh, it's uh, could take a beating. And uh, yeah, you see it's got a drain plug here. A drain plug in there. Got a heavy duty hidden system here. So this thing looks like it's pretty sturdy. The only thing, because I, I checked at the bottom, it doesn't have any like rubber feet. It's just uh, the, the plastic. So I can see that like, it would slide around if it's in my van. Um, just on the floor. So you'd have to find a way to, to stop it from sliding uh, while you're driving or strap it down. Other than that, it looks like a pretty good design. Some nice logos there. But let's power this thing up and uh, and see, see how it works. Okay, so while in standby mode, while it's just plugged in, if I hold the gear button and the up button for three seconds, I can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And because I'm in Canada, I'm only gonna have it on Celsius. Now I'll start this thing back up. So currently right now it's at 16 degrees Celsius. Right now you can hear the compressor, which is actually really quiet um, and it's on eco mode I don't know if you can see that green light there but it's on eco mode so if I do that 
that would put the compressor on max mode to cool it down a lot faster. Really no difference in the sound and it already went down one degree. So the real test here, um, let's see how fast we could fill up the cooler and bring the temperature down as if we were gonna leave and, uh, and um, go on a road trip and we want everything cooled down. So even just in that time, it, uh, it went down two degrees already Celsius. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna fill it up with, with, I got some beers here, some bottles of water. Let's fill it up and see how long it takes to cool down everything. We're at 25 degrees, 26 degrees Celsius. The water is 25 degrees Celsius inside the cooler. Uh, we had it just on for a bit, but right now it's at 18. Okay, so what we got in here is 12 bottles of water, uh, 12 bottles of Corona, and four bottles of Coors Light. Sorry, four cans of Coors Light. Okay, so with the fridge fully stocked, as if we were gonna go on a road trip, let's power this up. Compressor is on. Right now it's at 12 degrees Celsius. I'll set it to, uh, let's go minus three. Okay, so we just started it up. I'm gonna start the timer right now and we'll see how long it takes to, uh, to cool it down to minus three degrees Celsius. And that's on max mode. So let's see how long it takes to cool this down to minus three degrees Celsius. The rubber latches are latched on and uh, let's start cooling down. So if I were powering it off, uh, off the inverter or, or, in, the, or in the sprinter, um, this also does, does have a battery protection mode. So um, it won't kill your battery uh, if you have it on uh, the low, middle, or high. Uh, that way it doesn't, if you're running off, off just your car battery, uh, the, the fridge would shut off before it would kill your battery. So that's another good feature. Okay, so I just came to check on it and it's at an hour, eight minutes, and we're at minus three degrees Celsius. So I'd say about an hour and, uh, and we're up to the temperature. Yeah, that's at minus nine degrees Celsius, the wall is. The drinks are, are still at 14, but it's up to temperature and it's not bad for getting the temperature with those uh, drinks in there. All right, so this fridge is looking pretty good with the, with the whole uh, color theme of the van and it looks like a lot more real estate space to walk around and get to the get to the front seats and uh, loving really loving these cup holders uh, my other fridge didn't have that and um, it's looking pretty pretty sweet in there I think this will be the, the new go-to fridge uh, you know like that the everyday one where uh, I keep in the van. If I am in a in a long trip, I could take the the dual fridge, but this holds more than enough for every day, every day living, and gives a lot more space in the van. So um, I did put a, like a a non-slip pad under here. Um, one thing I wish they did is put rubber feet on the bottom of this so it doesn't slide around. But I drove around with that uh, non-slip pad underneath and it seems to be holding up well. It didn't slide around, um, but without that pad, it definitely, with these uh, vinyl floors, it, it, it would have slid, slid around a lot more. But um, yeah, it's good to have, always good to have some, some cold drinks and food, whatever. I got some worms in here. 
uh, for by a by a little ravine where I could uh, well, actually a little canal where I could fish. So got the got the got the worms just in case. Decided to cast a line. The fridge is running really quiet. The temperature is at minus four. I also really like that this uh, this cord, this DC cord, the power cord is really long, so I could pull it out of the van uh, if I wanted to move it around the van where it needs to be. But this is the spot right here. Yeah, thank you. How much does it cost? Okay. Okay, Have boss. Nice Take care, you too. Ride safe, thank you. People always stop, stop and talk about the truck. So right now, this fridge, if you guys are interested, it goes for $5.59 uh, US. Uh, for, uh, I'll put a link on the description to the website for icecofreezer.com and then if so because i'm in canada if you exchange that you're looking at about 723 dollars canadian for this fridge but um hopefully i can get you guys a coupon code and i'll have it shortly in the description below if they give me one and uh yeah if you guys are interested you can check it out they also do have a whole bunch of other um series of fridges uh, outdoor gear, accessories, all that stuff. So yeah, you guys can go check them out. Okay, so that concludes the review. For now, I am gonna take this on some van life adventures and uh, I'll be using this. So I'll do another update on uh, how it ho holds up in the next coming weeks, months to come. Uh, yeah, so far, I really like it. And uh, it's looking good. It's ice cold.